General Józef Haller came from a noble German family which had been seduced by Polishness. He was an outstanding officer in the Austrian army, a social activist and a leader in the scouting movement which he reshaped for Polish youth. In the first year of World War I, Haller fought against the Russians in the Carpathians. In 1916, he became the commander of the 2nd Brigade of the Polish Legions, a formation within the Austrian-Hungarian army. When German proposals for the new post-war borders were revealed, it turned out that Poland was meant to be but a rump state. This new shape of Poland was beneath the dignity of any Polish patriot, and hence Józef Haller, together with a group of his soldiers, broke through the Russian front and joined the Polish troops fighting on the Russian side. Through Moscow, he arrived in Murmansk, from where he found his way to France. There he took command of the Polish army in France, which was called the Blue Army from the color of its uniforms. At its peak, the Blue Army numbered 68,000 of our countrymen from the United States, Canada and France. Later on, prisoners of war who had served in the armies of the Central Powers joined Haller's forces. In 1918, the troops under Haller's command fought the Germans on the Western Front in the Vosges and Champagne province. It was his army which, after the war had ended, returned to Poland with advanced French equipment after joining the Polish army, which gave the new state real might. Haller's people brought Renault FT-17 tanks and the newest combat and spotter planes. They gave Poland real panache. Haller fought against the Ukrainians over eastern Galicia. Later, when by rights of the Treaty of Versailles, Poland obtained Pomerania in the vicinity of Gdansk. General Haller entered the area at the head of the army. He symbolically married Poland to the Baltic Sea by throwing wedding rings into the waves. During the Polish-Bolshevik War, airplanes brought by Haller's army conducted bombing raids, and General Haller himself successfully commanded the Northern Front. Without the soldiers and equipment of the former Blue Army, saving the newly born Poland from the Bolshevik onslaught would not have been possible. Going to war against the Bolsheviks, the regular Polish army was assisted by the volunteer army of General Haller, with 100,000 Poles who joined the force in answer to his appeal. The right-wing camp saw the antithesis of Józef Pozycki in him, the commander-in-chief from the Polish-Bolshevik War and the later chief of state. Haller initially played the role of rival, but it was a campaign he could not win. 